Hi, Internet friends. This is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Do, would you like to have a layout page that has options with to have to not have your title block in the background like this, having a blank title block or or even a custom title block, just one that doesn't show the default title block? Well, follow along. I'll show you how we can do that. So I have this plat that's zoomed in on the on the particular plot that's at um, at one inch equals thirty feet currently scaled. But if I were to have the whole the whole plat plan as um, laid out with the um, with the original title block, etc., I'm going to have to do one inch equals fifty feet, and I'm going to have to make it a much bigger size piece of paper, most likely the um, it would take up, in actuality, it would take up this whole 24 by 36 page, but I don't want that 24 by 36 page with the plat plan to have my title block in it. So I'm going to show you how we can um, add that. I'm going to add a blank page before page one. Since I have set up my pages with this a pound sign. The a pound sign, this is the first place a pound sign shows up on the layout, so this will remain as a1 and this will remain as a2. So I'm set there. I'm going to go back to uh, a1. I'm going to copy this onto page one. This is uh, not A1, it's just page one in my layout. So I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to change the scale. Nope, not that one. Change the scale to fit one inch equals 50 feet. And then I'm going to change the page itself, the details. So this is under edit page information you can go to tools layout edit page information if you don't have that title uh, toolbar and then I'm going to switch this from instead of using the default page template which is always page zero in a layout plan I'm going to use none I could set up a, a secondary page default if I wanted on it on its own uh, separate page or a se yeah, separate page and layout so I could make page one be a default um, but I'm not going to I'm just gonna use none so that's a blank L let me just describe what I'm doing here talking about here so I'm gonna add another page and this I'm going to use as a page template so page one I'm gonna use as a page template And then on page two, I'm going to use page one as the default. So no, now whatever I've drawn on page one, if I were to draw a line here like this on page one, that's going to show up on page two because I'm using page one as a default. I don't need to do that. I don't need to set up a separate, um, I don't need to make this a page template. So I'm going to just make this none because I want this page to be blank. I also don't want this to be included in the layout page table, so I'll uncheck that. So I've unchecked layout page table, set the page template to none. Now I can change this um, to include the whole page. It looks like this actually will be a um, 18 by 24 piece of paper, not 24 by 36. So 
So we'll leave it at 24 by 36. And I'm going to print landscape. Just the current sheet. And save that. And there you go. So I added the page before A1, went to this, uh, on my toolbars, it's this uh, icon edit uh, layout page information. You can find it by going to tools, layout, edit page information, and just change this page template from the default to none. That gives me a blank background. I size, rotate, adjust the uh, print the way I want it, and I can go ahead and print. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and learned something new, give me a thumbs up. As always, uh, uh, subscribe and follow along as videos come out next time. Take care.